We just did Hell's Gate. It's day, I don't know what day it is, but we uh, we just left Glenwood Springs, right, sitting on the Colorado River, and we are gonna head west on I-70. A little further west, gonna go see Grand Junction. And the reason is, because I met an old man on Golden Rim, uh, Golden Spike, and he said, "Yeah, that's where I retired. I've lived all these awesome places, and uh, I decided to retire in Grand Junction." I said, "You know what? That might be a pretty good place to live." So I want to go see it, and then maybe we go a little further west of Moab. We'll see. All right, but this is the view driving west on I-70 towards Grand Junction. Sand Platts Recreational Area. Our bourbon is spilled out. Everything reeks of bourbon. Anyway. Yep, looking good. A grilled chicken. Grilled chicken sandwich. Just about as good as uh, Chick-fil-A, not quite. Let's see how it is. It's good. Real good. Woo. Anyway, it's been a long day. I'm glad to be at camp. It's important you make time and get outside and connect with this, this earth. This is such a beautiful place. Because really that's the number one thing for this channel and these videos is uh, to get more people outdoors. Um, kids don't need to be on their phones, on the computer, um, 24 hours a day. Uh, we got to get back to the natural side of things every once in a while. 
I'm sure I'm going to think of some more insightful things to say. But that's it for now. Thanks. Well, good morning. We are, it's Sunday morning, the ninth day since we left home. And uh, first day on our own. Everybody left yesterday to head back to uh, South Carolina. And uh, it's just me out here making a go of it. Um, so we camped out here last night. You saw our campsite. Today we're going to get up early and we are in... Sand Flats Recreation Area, that's where Fins and Things, Hell's Revenge, those those trails are. So we're gonna start off this morning and see if we can hit those trails, do those while we're here in Moab. Those are the two I'd like to get done. And then uh, we'll see what, we'll see where the, where the highway takes us after that, I'm not sure, okay? All right. Let's go! So this is Fins and Things. The Fins and Things Trail is characterized by its unique rock formations and technical obstacles that provide an exhilarating experience for off-road enthusiasts. What sets fins and things apart is the presence of fins and narrow ridges formed by erosion over time. These fins, like seen here, provide both challenging driving opportunities and breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape. Drivers will encounter steep ascents and descents, tight turns and off-camber sections that require careful navigation. Well, it says, harder option to the left, easier option to the right. Well, let's do the harder option. Put our seatbelt on just in case so. Throughout the trail, you'll have the chance to experience the stunning beauty of Moab's iconic red rock formations and desert scenery. bit of an issue uh, my four-wheel drive won't engage
we just got done running fins and things and man it was awesome badass trail i'm glad i got to do it this time um we had a bit of an issue with the land cruiser the four-wheel drive center diff lock wasn't working but now it is working so we are good to go there and uh, since we're all good and we're performing and everything is good so far we're gonna go hit up hell's revenge and get you some footage of that i am so freaking excited to hit this i came here a year ago and i wanted to hit it and for whatever reason it just didn't happen and now i'm going to run the trail i'm not leaving town until i do so let's go all right Now, right from the start on Hell's Revenge, you get right to it. You come up this very tall, very thin ridge, this fin, and it gets your heart racing, and you really know you're on a real trail now, boy. Cowboy trail. Hell's Revenge is a thrilling trail that pushes both drivers and vehicles to their limits. Hell's Gate, in particular, stands out as a symbol of the technical challenges and adrenaline pumping experiences that Moab's OHV trails have to offer. However, it's essential to approach these challenges with the right equipment, skills, and safety precautions to ensure a memorable, safe off-roading experience. The Hell's Revenge Trail is approximately nine miles long and offers a combination of slick rock surfaces, sandy stretches, steep climbs, and ascents. Now when I say slick rock surfaces, it means exactly the opposite of what you think it sounds like. This terrain is characterized by its red sandstone slick rock, which provides high traction for off-road vehicles. Now, Fins and Things was a good warm-up for Hell's Revenge because this one is rated as a difficult trail. Suitable for experienced off-road enthusiasts with capable vehicles with the right equipment.
Moab, Utah really is an incredible place. It's unlike anything or any terrain that you've ever seen before. So it immediately takes you far away as if you're on the moon or some world that you haven't even thought up yet. It's like being Spider-Man behind the wheel. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a dangerous descent. But these rocks have a ton of traction. I love this place. I love driving here. traffic here. Some jeepers. Well, that's okay. We'll give them space. Stopping to get some pictures. Chris, you needed to see that. Um, don't roll up on the next guy too quick before you come down. This. There's a big boulder right in the middle of that, Chris. Chris, you might want to wait to come up. Roger that. Go, Chris. You just ease up and over it slowly, or it's going to jack you Hell's Gate is one of the most famous and challenging obstacles along the Hell's Revenge Trail. It's a steep, narrow crevice between two tall sandstone walls, and the obstacle requires drivers to navigate down a nearly vertical descent into the crevice and then drive up the other side, where there's often rollovers. Say I'm nervous here would be an understatement.
Safe for now at the bottom, I take a pause to gather my thoughts, recenter myself, make sure my cameras are running, and get ready to go up and out the other side. The real obstacle is still yet to come. This is about the moment when it really set in. I really wish I had a spotter to come up this hill. But let's see how I do. We just did Hell's Gate, and it was awesome. <laughs> Look at this. We did drop into the into it just a touch. We got some some scrubbage, but that's okay. Land Cruiser did a fine job. Thanks for watching Winch Outdoors. I hope you guys have liked my Hell's Gate, Hell's Revenge video. Uh, also fins and things. Anyway, Sand Flats Recreation Area is banging. If you can get out here to Moab and check out the Sand Flats Recreation Area, I definitely uh, recommend it. And uh, anyway, we're gonna go get some lunch and uh, charge our batteries and maybe uh, do some editing. Catch me next time, Winch Outdoors. All right. We're in the middle of the desert and we got this swimming pool all to ourselves, so it's definitely a scenic view at the scenic view end. It's a beautiful Moab morning, I just, Stopped by Wicked Brew and got myself a coffee. And uh, just enjoying this morning. I think I might do a little shopping. I've been tasked with getting a size 2T Moab t shirt for our little Moab baby. So, anyway, I think this 
might be my last morning in Moab. Two days is enough. I hit the trails I wanted. But anyway, this is what living out of a land cruiser looks like. It's not glamorous, but it sure is fun. I got my shirt. I got my square donuts from Doughbirds. I hit the trails, I saw the town, I got the t-shirt, I got my Wicked Coffee, Twisted Bean Wicked Espresso, Wicked Brew. So, thanks Moab, you've been great. Catch you next time, Winch Outdoors.